guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have a huge Sephora haul for you guys. Um, Sephora had their VIB 15% um, off sale about, I don't know, a week and a half ago or so. And yeah, I hauled a ton. And here's the worst part of the story. This isn't even all I hauled. I only have about half of the stuff I bought here with me. The other half is actually still on its way in the mail. Long story, but basically USPS did not drop off my package when I ordered it. It decided that I had moved and it sent it back to Sephora for whatever reason. So um, I called up Sephora and they re-shipped me out a new package. So it's on its way. Um, it takes a while when Sephora ships me stuff because Sephora, I believe their headquarters is on the east coast and I live on the west coast so it takes forever for that stuff to get over here so it's been like about I don't know two and a half three weeks since I ordered it but whatever we will still wait for that and I will do part two of the video when I get um, that stuff in the mail it should be coming in this week I believe so hopefully it comes soon so I can do a haul on the rest of the stuff I got but yeah this is just half of the stuff and I will tell you guys that I'm not denying that this is a lot of stuff I know it's a lot of stuff. It is a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to tell you that, oh yeah, this is no big deal. You know, I haul this amount of stuff on a normal basis because I don't. I don't normally get this much stuff. The only time I usually go crazy at Sephora is when they have their 20% or 15% off coupons because um, I pretty much just grab things that I've had on my list for forever. So that's pretty much what these things are. These are things that I've had on my list to get for forever. Um, and since they had the sale, I decided, well, better now than never. So let's just get started. So the first product I purchased is a perfume. And this I smelled at my local Sephora and I fell in love with this fragrance. And it is the Escada Taj Sunset. This is what the box looks like. And here's what the bottle of it looks like. This is the 3.3 ounce um, Eau de Toilette spray. And I love this stuff. It's very, very fruity, very, very um, summery. This is definitely gonna be like a go-to summer fragrance for me. I don't have the exact notes pulled up on my computer or anything, but it kind of smells like mango. Maybe some peach in there. I don't know. I'm not great at describing perfumes, but basically it's an amazing summer fragrance. If you guys haven't smelled this, go to your local Sephora and smell this. It smells so good. Okay, the next product I got is a Clinique Almost Lipstick, and this is what the box of it looks like. And this is in the shade Black Honey, and this has been getting a lot of hype on YouTube. A lot of people talk about it. I believe this is the only shade that they have of it. And um, this is what the packaging on it looks like. And here's what it looks like. Um, it's basically like a really, really sheer lipstick. And I know it looks insanely dark here, but it's actually not. It shears out quite a lot. I'm not going to do swatches for you guys in this video just because I have a lot to get through, but it shears out quite a lot. It's definitely not as dark as that. Um, it's called Almost Lipstick because it's kind of like a lipstick lip gloss hybrid. I guess it's kind of like the MAC uh, Sheen Supreme lipsticks, I guess. Um, so yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this, so I decided to grab that. Okay, then I got three NARS blushes. Um, I only have one NARS blush and I decided to get three more because these have been on my list um, to get for forever. So the first one is not really a blush so much. It's actually a highlight and it is the NARS Albatross highlighter. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. And this is NARS packaging if you guys haven't seen it before. And here's what Albatross looks like. It's basically just, it looks white, but it actually swatches very golden. It's really, really pretty. So I'm excited to use this. The next blush is one that I've heard a lot about as well. And this is called Matahari. And here's what Matahari looks like. It's like a matte, very, very like dusty, rosy pink shade. Very, very pretty. And the last one I got is one that you guys are going to think I'm in insane for even looking at but it's actually so pretty and this is called exhibit a and here is exhibit a it's showing up really really orange on camera but it's actually like a vivid bright red like you look at it and you think that's red like there's no getting around it that's red this blush is crazy pigmented as well it's a matte red but applied really really nicely and lightly with a stippling brush it can look gorgeous okay the next product I got is the benefit 
pore fessional this is like the uh, pore minimizer and here's what the tube looks like um you don't get that much product in here you only get 0.75 fluid ounces which is like three-fourths of a foundation but um anyways it's just like a white colored I don't know, paste or whatever. And um, it's supposed to help minimize pores. And I've been getting a lot of pores like right around my nose area right here. So hopefully this will minimize it um, because I've been looking for a good pore minimizer. So hopefully this works. Okay, I got one other Benefit product and this is the Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow. Now I don't have any of these Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadows, but I've heard nothing but good things about them. So um, this one is in the shade Skinny Jeans, which I've heard so much about. And here is what Skinny Jeans looks like. This is basically just a cream shadow. It's um, very similar to like a MAC Paint Pot in that it's not supposed to crease on you and you can use it just as a base or you can use it by itself just as an all over shadow so I'm really excited to try this out okay the next two products I got are Jack Black lip balms and I have heard so much buzz about these um, Temptalia or Christine from Temptalia.com raves about these like no other and then I heard Scrangy talking about them as well so I was like okay my two favorite beauty bloggers have talked about this I need to try it out and so I got the um, Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm in Natural Mint which is this one and I also got it in Lemon Chamomile, which is this one. And then, finally, Urban Decay came out with their primer potions in tubes. It is about time because so many people have been complaining that the little genie bottles that have the applicators, you know, air keeps going in, they dry out quicker, you don't get to get out all the product before it dries out on you. So, yeah. They came out with the tubes. So I got the original primer potion, I got the... Sin Primer Potion, I got the Eden Primer Potion, and I got the Greed Primer Potion. Now, did I really need all of these in tubes? No, because I still have the genie bottles of all of them, but I decided in case, I don't know, these were limited edition or something, which I don't think they are, but just in case they are, I just grabbed them. So these will just be backups. I have not opened these yet because they're just backups for me. Okay, and then this is the big ticket item that I got in this part of the haul. And that big ticket item is the Makeup Forever um, Flash Palette. And this I've heard so much about. It comes with 12, I believe, yes, 12 flash colors. These are basically just cream products. You can use them for whatever you want. You can use them for um, eyeshadow bases, cheek colors, lip colors, um, anything you want. Some of them are not eye safe and some of them are not lip safe. But um, basically they're just a cream product. You can use them for whatever you want. I have had my eye on this for forever. But Sephora is always either sold out or it's just really expensive. So I wasn't into spending $95 on this product. Um, but with the 15% off and since Sephora had it in stock, I decided to grab it while I could. And I believe this is a Sephora exclusive item as well. So um, I don't think you can get it from other stores. So yeah, since Sephora.com had it in stock, I decided to just order it. So I got it. This is it. Now to be completely honest with you guys, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm still kind of unsure about it. I still have my receipt on this um, because this might be going back if I'm not absolutely head over heels in love with it when I use it because $95 is quite a lot for 12 cream products. I understand that. So um, I'll have to try this out, and unless I'm head over heels in love with it, it will probably be going back. And the last thing I got in this part of the haul is something that I've been wanting for a while, and it is one of these hanging makeup bags. And this is what it looks like. And this one is really pretty. It's like a pewter gray color with like these gorgeous flowers on it. They also had a black one that had pink flowers on it, but I thought this one was a little prettier. And basically it magnets shut and it just folds open like this and then it's got a little hanger thing here at the top so you can hang it on the back of a door or something and it has all of these pouches and compartments in it you know you can keep your brushes here it has this compartment this huge one at the bottom um, these small ones this is a little mirror actually that just kind of detaches like that 
And so yeah, I've been wanting this for a while and um, this particular one was on sale for $28. And I thought that that was a really good deal for this because I believe original price on this was um, $56 or something like that. But I wouldn't buy this for the full price. Um, just wait until these go on sale because Sephora always has their like line of makeup bags and when they discontinue, you know, the last line and they bring in a new line, the discontinued line, um, is always on sale. So this was the discontinued line and so this was on sale for 28 plus I got the 15% off on top of that. So I thought it was a really good deal. This will be great for traveling and stuff. So I love this. So that is it. That is all for this part of the Sephora Humongo haul. Um, the second part will be coming up in a week or two whenever I get my box from Sephora in the mail. And yeah, everything I mentioned in this video will be listed in the bottom bar as well as prices. So if you guys are curious about that, it'll all be listed down there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.